Assalamu alaikum, masa al khair al jamia, and we would like to welcome all of you to our uh, today's workshop, which is going to be about writing a research paper, importance, outline, and approach, presented by Dr. Maha Halabi. Dr. Maha Halabi is an assistant uh, professor at the English Language Institute. Her teaching experience includes uh, teaching English to bachelor students, as well as graduate courses, uh, including TESOL methodology and TESOL and technology. She has published several research articles with her graduate students and all, is always happy to help graduate students with research writing. She also won the Best Teacher Prize in Graduate Studies program in the ELI. So Dr. Maha, the floor is yours. You may start now. Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Thank you, uh, Dr. Batson, for introducing me. And I need to express my gratitude and thanks also to Dr. Rawan Saati. Thank you, Dr. Rawan. She's the one who has contacted me actually and asked me to uh, give this workshop to graduate students. Uh, uh, hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for attending my workshop today. I'm pleased to see that so many of you have chosen to attend this session and I hope that you find it useful. Whether you are a graduate student <clears throat> or a member of faculty. Um, we we'll start as, as you can see the, the title is writing research paper importance, outline, and approach. Okay. Uh, so I'll start by showing you the content or the sections of today's workshop. As you can see, they are simply and basically what the title says really. Uh, we'll start by giving the definition of research paper, then looking at the importance of writing a research paper, we, and uh, then we'll focus on the structure or the outline of a research paper. Then we will list some important and practical steps that will help you in writing a research paper. And finally, because a research paper is a piece of academic writing, I will look at some fundamental academic writing features or conventions which we would need to pay attention to when writing a research paper. Some useful links are added towards the end of this presentation. I hope they will be useful for you, specifically the novice researchers and MA students. At the end of the session, there will be 10 to 15 minutes for anyone to ask any questions. Uh, first of all, before we get into the details, uh, let's take a look at what a research paper is. Uh, this is this question for you first from your experience, from your experience, please. Uh, whether you have written a research paper before or you are writing one at the moment or you intend to write one in the future, who can tell us what is it? What's a research paper? And please kindly use the chat box to type your answers or your simple understanding of the term. What is a research paper? What is it? How can we define it? Yes, <laughs> I'm waiting for your uh, perspectives. My voice is clear, Dr. Batim, Dr. Roman, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, thank you. Uh, Samia, a research paper a study that addresses a gap. Excellent, great. Okay, it's a summary. It is, okay, a summary of what? Okay, any other ideas? It has a problem, it does. Yes, there is a problem, exactly. 
advanced information for studies. Okay, thank you. And questions, yes, exactly. Questions, you mean research question. Okay, is a piece of academic writing. Thank you, Ms. Ghadir. Uh, that provides analysis, interpretation, argument based on in-depth independent research. Yes, a paper explain and solution of problem. Okay, thank you. I very much like your definition. Thank you, Ms. Ghadir. Um, is an essay in which you explain what you have learned after explaining your topic. Actually, Ms. Dua, there is, there is a difference between research paper and an essay, okay? And we'll discuss this later. Thank you so, so much for your perspectives, okay? And let's here see together the definitions of a research paper. A research paper is uh, a piece of academic writing, as mentioned by Ms. Dua, that, proven, that provides an in-depth analysis, evaluation, or interpretation of a single topic based on empirical evidence. And here is the difference between a research paper and an essay. In the essay, we don't need an empirical evidence. And let me clarify something else. A research paper is for publication. It's asked by journals, okay? Uh, you need to publish it. But an essay, you submit it for your teacher at the end of the course that you are studying, okay? Uh, another good definition from Athens State University is a research paper is a, th a synthesis of research, critical thinking, source evaluation, organization, and writing. Okay. Okay. I have, yeah. Okay, importance of a research paper. Uh, please read the following statement and decide if you agree or you disagree. If you please use the chat box to type your answer, for example, one agree, two disagree. Okay. Uh, as a student of a, of a member of faculty, why, why we, we need to write a research paper? Okay, in a minute, I'm going to show you the statements. Actually, the statements are in the next slides. But let me clarify what, what do I mean by importance of a research paper here. As a student or a member of faculty, you might ask yourself why a research paper is important, okay? There are many reasons a research paper could be important to you. Okay, in the next few slides, I would like to show you some statements, okay. Let's go through the statements together, please. Okay, the first statement is, writing a research paper is one of the primary channels for passing on knowledge to academics working in the same field or related fields. If you agree, please put in the chat 1A. If you disagree, you write 1D. What do you think? Agree, okay. Think Thank you, Renat. Okay, 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 okay. So as we can see, the most, most of you, uh, you have agreed that yes, we agree, okay? It's true because research papers are an excellent platform to share new findings with a general or focused audience. Let's go to uh, the second statement. The second statement is, writing a research paper doesn't enhance your own knowledge and understanding of a particular topic. What do you think? Do you agree or you disagree? Okay, thank you, Ms. Maarib. Okay, disagree. Okay, right. Yes, you are right. You are definitely right. 
because a research paper actually helps you to find more knowledge about the field you are researching. So you can learn something novice, something new and fascinating about the discipline that you can use for work later. Sometimes you could have information and details of your research paper area, area even more than your instructor or supervisor. You know why? Because you are investigating this specific problem. You have a problem, you have research area. You are investigating it. You are digging deeply to get as much information as possible about this specific research area. So sometimes you are aware of, or you have more information about this area, more than supervisor or your instructor. Okay, let's move to the third one. Writing a research paper helps develop your reading and writing skills. Do you agree or disagree? Agree, yes. Okay, great. Yes, by all means, the process of writing a research paper involves extensive reading, which will harm your reading ability. For example, you will not only become faster at reading, but you will be more selective and precise. Okay, selective in which sense? Selective, you are going to see the articles, the studies, that have been conducted and in your own research area that are related to your topic, to your study, to the, the area that you are investigating. Okay, let's move to the fourth statement. And please tell me your opinion. Writing a research paper does not help improve your critical thinking. What do you think, ladies? Disagree, yes, okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing, yes, sure. It does, in fact, make you a better thinker, particularly during the reading stage. How? Actually, it helps in many ways. Let, let me uh, tell, tell you what are they. It helps you develop the skill of critical evaluation. As you read any article or book to collect sources for your research paper, you develop reasoning skills. Why? Why I'm reading this specific article? Why, why I'm reading this specific book? Um, it helps you think differently and think out of the box when you read something. You develop the skill of making conclusions from what you read and ask questions about what you read. Okay. Uh, let's move to the last one. During your career, your publications find a valuable place in your resume, CV, and they showcase your accomplishments. You agree or you disagree? What do you think? Agree, exactly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Your publications allow others to see what areas of research you are interested in, what sort of methods and experiments you have conducted during your research and so on. Okay, okay. Let's move to the second part of the workshop, importance of a research paper. Uh, dimensions, actually, sorry, that's not, not the second part. This, um, related to whatever we have just discussed, the importance of a research paper. Here is the areas that uh, show us why a research paper is important. Dissemination of knowledge, enhancing personal knowledge, improving reading and writing skills, developing critical thinking, building a research and publication space. Can anyone think of any other reasons that uh, make the research paper important? Any other reasons other than the ones we have just men mentioned and discussed? If anyone has any idea, please go ahead and uh, write it down in the chat box. 
You can also open the mic and speak up. Any more ideas? Any other reasons? Solving problems, exactly, yes. Thank you, Ms. Samia. Yes, any other reasons? Helps to amend the educational process? Mm, yes. Uh, okay, gives you more confidence in research or writing, exactly, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. So in some, these slides, they show the importance of writing a research paper for the researcher that we have discussed together. Okay, add knowledge to subject and show problems. Yes, yes, you are right. Okay, let's move to next. Uh, actually, let's say next important or significant slide in this presentation, which is before I before we start discussing this slide, um, my dear audience, okay, uh, let me tell you that writing a research paper, there are so many manuals for writing a research paper, okay? But due to time restrictions, I have tried to summarize some of the most important areas or parts of a research paper, and we'll discuss them in details. I'll give you one minute to read this slide. Yes, I like uh, Mr. Ali. Yes, connecting me to the specialist of the field. Exactly. It makes you, um, yes, know the people, know the scholars of the field, the leading figures of the field that you are writing in, of your study, of your topic. You are right. Okay, I'll, I'll keep silent. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. I'll, I'll give you some time to read this slide. Part one. Okay, okay. After the definition and importance, the structure of a research paper can vary depending on your discipline or the journal that you are aiming to publish in. But there is a general structure or outline that most research papers tend to follow. One structure as the one we can, you can see here, I'm sharing it with you, um, divides the paper into three parts, as you can see. Part one, part two, part three. The, the parts one and three as are, as you can see, self-explanatory, really. So you need a title, and you need abstract, and most journals ask for keywords uh, to help with the search process. In part three, you must have some conclusions, some acknowledgements, as you can see, references, okay, and add your appendices at the end, right? Okay. Let's all agree or let's all uh, discuss the second part, okay? The most important part of the paper, which is the main text. I'm not underestimating the other parts, no, but I'm just focusing on this one because it's the, the main body of the research, okay? And, and here, this part <clears throat> actually, it needs more effort, more time, okay? Uh, you must, if, okay, in this part, you must have some conclusions, some, um, yes, sorry, yes. The most important part, as we said, is part two, right? This represents the main body of your paper. In part two, I have included the abbreviation MRAD between brackets, okay? In your opinion, what do you think this stands for? Does anybody know? Are you familiar with this abbreviation, with this acronym? 
Emrat. Are you familiar with it? Anyone, please? Okay, yes. Introduction, methodology, yes. Any other answers? Any other guesses? Yes, introduction, method, result, research design, result, method, result, and discussion. Thank you so much, Yaf Chun. It is, yes. Okay, uh, so it stands for four basic things in any research paper. They are introduction, materials and methods, results, and discussion. Okay. In the next slide, uh, you will see a table. It's not in order. Okay. Match the section on the left with a suitable question on the right. And please write your answers in the chat box. I'll, I'll move to that one soon. Here it is. Okay. As we said, I stands for introduction, M for material and methods, R for results, L for and, and D for discussion. In your opinion, which one goes with which letter? Answers which question on the second column? Please write in the chat box, for example, whatever you think. Okay, 3A. Okay, let's see the other answers. If you have one C. Okay, I'm waiting for others. Two, right now the answer is one C. Okay, 2D. One C, <laughs> one C is repeated many times. What about three and four? Uh, okay, four. Okay, Lulwa, she gave us all, thank you. Okay, thank you, Ali, thank you, Mahari. Thank you, Samia. Okay, so let's move to the next slide and see, yes. Thank you so much. Um, very good answer for your good answers coming through the chat box. Thank you very much for your guesses. Okay, so introduction, answer the question, why are you doing this, this research, this study? Materials and methods, how have you done this? Results, what have you found? And finally discussion, what does this mean? I hope it's clear. Okay. And let's move to the next slide and discuss each one in details. We'll start with what? Okay, I stop for one minute till Adam finishes. Actually, my, my office is facing the mosque, so Thank you. 
Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Okay, okay, ladies, here I am. Uh, back to our presentation after listening to, mashallah, this wonderful voice of Adan. Okay, okay. So here we said, I'm going to explain each one. Introduction, materials and methods, results and discussion. Okay, introduction, materials and methods. Uh, this section highlights the significance of your introduction why? Why are you doing this? You need always to ask yourself before you start your research or before, if, if you, for example, you choose a topic, okay, and you are going to start writing it, okay? You need to ask yourself why I have chosen this specific topic. And this why it will be written where? In the introduction, of course, in details. So the introduction was, this section highlights the significance of your study in your research do domain. By clearly describing your research question, the introduction, it includes your research questions. Of course, when I say research questions, it's not, I mean, limited to research questions. Some research paper, they have hypotheses. Uh, the significance of your study, okay, uh, what issues your research aims to understand or resolve? It also describe your research question and explain what issues exactly. And actually, I can add to whatever is written here. The introduction usually it includes the aim of the study, the objectives of the study, the uh, um, the positionality. If you are writing uh, a qualitative research, okay? Okay, let's go to the second one, materials and methods. This section is used to share information on how you conducted your research, which tools, techniques, and instruments were used, the data collection methods, and details about the participants or the lab environment, again, depending on the nature of your research. Okay, we come to answer question two, which is R. Okay, Emery, we say results and discussion. In this section, share complete details of what you have discovered through your research. Starting with the most significant findings, use tables and figures to simplify complex data and results for readers. 
you need to show them this to make your read results, of course, clear. Okay? And then discussion. Discussion of what? Discussion of my results, right? Based on findings from the previous section, elaborate what on what the study imply, what results you have come up with. The results you have come up with, you are going to discuss he them here, and you are going to uh, describe, sorry, I have here a spelling mistake, describe whether the hypothesis was supported or research questions addressed. Okay. Um, yes. And uh, yes, I mean, yes. Yes. Let, let me let me let me tell you give you an advice here. Explain the database analysis and list any study limitation. Always and always, as a researcher, don't be shy to acknowledge any limitations you have faced during your paper writing. No research has ever been done precisely according to the plan. I mean, we are all at the end of the road, we are all human beings. And when we write a thesis or when you write a research paper, when you write your dissertation, it's always ups and downs. Sometimes you feel yourself confident and you know, and you, you know your area of research and you elaborate on, for example, your findings, and and sometimes you feel, oh my God, my mind is plucked. I cannot write a word. This is very normal. Don't get disappointed because no researcher ever has been precisely, has done his or her research according to the plan. We always, have something emerges, some emergency, some event, some, for example, a struggle. So you have to face it and you have to be self confident. When you mention, when you list your study limitation, this also strengthens the validity of your findings. The, the readers, they would know that you are reliable. Okay. Your, fi your findings are valid. Okay. Uh, approaches to write a research paper. Okay. Uh, after discussing the main parts of a research, okay, in this slide, I will uh, shed some light on the approach to write a research paper. Actually, we have here, actually, okay, let's all. Let me make it clear for you that we all know that writing a research paper is challenging group for most of us. But, however, it's not impossible. What do you mean by this? Yes, everyone, I mean, if you work hard, if you read, if you uh, know how to, to be, to think critically, okay, you, if somebody helps you, Taman, you need an advisor, okay, you need an instructor, you will be able to, to write a research paper. Okay, in this section, you have these six steps, right? Uh, I will focus on some important steps that will improve the chances of your paper's acceptance. Taman, because of time restrictions, I will only look at six steps today. Does it mean that we have some other? Of course. It's a very broad area. When we discuss a research paper, we need actually more than one workshop, ladies. We need so many workshops. But I'm trying to, to make it concise and as clear as possible. So we have these six tips. We'll discuss them one by one. The first one, select your topic and identify your hypothesis research questions okay number two write a few drafts three check your writing editing and proofreading this is um, very important format according to the requirements of the journal we'll discuss it in detail write the abstract get your your title right 
have you noticed that writing the abstract and getting, we'll discuss this again later in detail, but have you noticed that they have come at the end, write the abstract, get your title right? Because when when I started doing my, my PhD thesis, I thought that the first thing that I should do is to, uh, to, to choose the title. You choose the research area, but not choosing the title. You keep the title till the end. And I couldn't believe it. I told my supervisor, how come I need to, to get my title, to know it, to make it clear? He said, Maha, wait, not now. And this is what I'm telling you now. Wait, it's not now. And later, I'll tell you why you keep the abstract and the title till the end. Okay? Because we go ahead. Khrud Ahmed, you think Khrud for your reward, rewarding words. Khrud, by the way, is my student at uh, MA uh, course. Uh, I'm teaching the Teaching Modern Technology. And Khrud is a colleague. She always, always, Allah is a Khrud. She always, Yani, Kida, that's really positive energy. Thank you so much, Khrud. Okay. So far, do you have any question, any um, anything not clear so far, or shall we go on with the approach? Yes. Go on. Yes. Uh, review paper. Okay, can, can we keep this question till the end? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. But can we uh, keep it to the end? Okay. Uh, let's go select your topic, hypothesis, or research. This is called the starting point. But you cannot choose an area of interest or an issue or problem to solve a gap to acknowledge and fill without exploring the literature, okay? I would put between two brackets here, the practical tips, okay? Develop a habit of reading published literature regularly. And between two brackets, I'm going to focus on something called here, in this case, explorative reading, okay? Why? Because now you are reading, you are in the stage of choosing a research question, of choosing your topic, choosing the research area that you are going to investigate. So you are, you are reading to explore. Please, I need you to, to, to concentrate here because now in a minute, I'll give another type of reading, okay? Uh, so the list, okay, explore existing problems, issues, gap in your field of interest. In other words, here I'm discussing what? Literature review, okay? Because you need to, after, after you have explorative reading, you are going to explore existing problem, right? And let me admit, we all need to admit that writing literature review or a review of a literature, both are, are correct and are acceptable, okay? is really not an easy task for researchers. Why? Because the literature is an ocean of knowledge and it's not easy to explore all the literature, okay? Of course, no doubt there will be a substantial amount of published literature in the field of your research. So you need to be focused, okay? You need to be to choose the studies that are similar to your, or that are related to your area of research. Okay, number three, think about these problems. 
discuss your ideas with your advisor before you decide which problem you would like to address and consider both your interest and the feasibility of the idea before you fi before finalizing your research question and finally start your focused re literature research okay don't let others push you to an area that you don't like because believe me at the end of the road you will get disappointed and you will not finish your paper you choose the your the areas that you are interested in this is really really very crucial when you write a research paper uh, of course finally your research topic you have chosen you have read and you have discussed it with your supervisor uh, or with your advisor or with your instructor and you have decided on the area okay now your research topic and research question will of course guide your next stage of reading which is now focused reading you see the difference between explorative reading and focused reading at first you read to explore now the area is clearer in your mind, so you are focusing on reading and you are choosing the studies that are related to your research area. Okay, let's go to step two. What is uh, write a few drafts? Why we should write a few drafts other than the ones that we have here in the in the slide can you think can we all think together can we think out loud why why we should write a few drafts at the beginning of writing our paper yes waiting to hear from you why yes ladies and gentlemen uh, to select the best one. Okay. To organize my ideas. Thank you, Lulua. To reach the to target one, narrow down our focus. Thank you, Samia. Another brilliant student. Samia is my student also. Uh, to know what exactly you want to mention and what not. Okay. Actually, um, Mr. Salim, here we are not choosing the, the topic. How else we have chosen the topic? Practice makes perfect. Thank you, Arif. Yes. My dear colleague. Yes. To prioritize. Yes. To let the idea flow. Improve my writing skills around the idea. Thank you so much, Amira. Yes. Brainstorming. Thank you. Amira is also my <laughs> student. Thank you, Amira. Okay, ladies. Actually, um, somebody mentioned to, to choose. Here, we are not choosing. We have already chosen the topic. You have selected your research area. Now, you are, you are in the stage of starting writing your paper. Good, thank you, Yanur, to eliminate un unnecessary information. To mix and match, yes, thank you, Ms. Daria. To mix and match the ideas, exactly. So, you need uh to write a few drafts because before you reach to the what to the final one okay so whatever i've i've chosen here with all my respect to your brilliant ideas to choose which paragraph better yes to improve your writing exactly improve the cal the clarity and structure okay to ensure your writing is supported by evidence data, facts, quotations, arguments, statistics, research, and theories. When you write a research paper, this means that you have selected to write critically. You need evidence. It's empirical. Exactly. That. Um, yes, thank you, uh, Ms. Daria. 
to um, to arrange my results and discuss them. Yes, okay. Yes, you are going to discuss everything. Always, always keep in your mind when you write a research paper or a dissertation or a thesis, keep in your mind, I want to please everyone to keep in your mind one very crucial word in writing a research paper, which is justify. You always need to justify. I've chosen this specific data collection method. Why? Because it will address my research question. Okay? Uh, I'm following the outline. Okay, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, of course. <laughs> okay, check your writing. The third step, editing and proofreading. Okay. Uh, one of the top reasons for rejecting the research papers in journals is poor language comprehension. Sometimes the language is not very strong. Incorrect usage of words, grammar, and spelling errors and flaws in sentences. Construction can spoil even the greatest research. Always remember this. Construction can spoil even the greatest research. Sometimes you reach to amazing results. Your methodology is perfect, but when you come to actual writing, because of these things, your paper is rejected, and this is, I mean, after all that effort, it's really haram, yani. You need to focus on writing your paper, pay attention to grammar, to spelling errors, edit and proofread your paper before you submit it for, for publication. Format your paper. Follow the guidelines of the journal you are planning to, pu to publish in. Uh, exactly. Yes, Sarah. Citation. Yes. Well, yes, exactly. Thank you, Dalia. Yes. Uh, of course, this is very important. And we'll discuss this here in a minute. Follow the guidelines of the paper, ladies and gentlemen, of the journal, sorry, you are planning to publish in. It's style. It's font because the font differs from one journal to another. So you need to strictly follow the guidelines of the journal you are planning to publish in. Presentation of data, for example, figures, tables, charts, etc. Watch referencing style, as Ms. Daria just mentioned, citation, they need to be acknowledged. Is it? ABA is it MLA? You know, you know the, the abbreviations of these, right? APA American Psychological Association, MLA Modern Language Association, the Harvard System, and NHRA Modern Humanities Research Association. These these uh, reference reference styles. They depend on name and, uh, and date. Some systems are numeric uh, in scientific um, research. Okay, they they rely on numbers. Example: We have Vancouver and we have I triple E. If if anyone is writing a scientific paper, this extra information. Okay, ladies. Remember when I said abstract and the title, they come at the end, and here they are. Uh, write abstract for your research paper. Okay, let's all together, please watch this video. And this video includes 11 steps for writing a great abstract. Let's watch it together, and I hope it works. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I did think.
Um, I think it's been repeated, right? Is it clear? No, sir. But you can see the instructions for tune. I really wonder why there are there is no sound. Um, no sound. Okay, I can see it. Uh, Dr. Rawan, can you help us? Uh, the audience, they say there is no sound. Uh, Dr. Rahman, are you with us? Okay, you know what? I'm going to to send the, okay, here it is. I send the copy. Can you have access to it? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not hearing me, actually. Uh, some audience, they say that they cannot hear the uh, video, the YouTube. So I have attached the attached its URL, URL in the chat box. And I'm going to make it work again. Here it is, my dear. Ah, okay. Okay, actually, I wanted to send it to everyone. Here it is. I've just resend it. Can you hear me, ladies and gentlemen? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, after watching, have you been able to watch that, the YouTube? Okay, great, great. Uh, okay, now, after watching the YouTube, we're going to have some practice over that YouTube, true or false? Please write your answers in the chat box. Ready? Okay. The first one. You can write your, your abstract even before start writing your research paper. Is it true or false? 
It's false, okay? You need to select the key points from the method section. Mm, one is false, okay. We have moved to two. Is it false or true? Two. Key points from, no, I'm sorry to say that it's true, dear Marip. Okay, yes, it's true. Because you have done, you have finished your study, Marip. And now you are writing the abstract, okay? Uh, you will, uh, because as, as I told you before, um, Arim and everyone, of course, um, we, we cannot write the abstract and the title until we finish our study, until our results are there. We have findings, we have results, okay? Then it, it's, it's not a summary, actually. It's, it's a kind of a summary, but it's not an actual summary, okay? Um, it's not from all sections. Actually, yes, it's from all sections. It's, yani, it, it gives the key, the key points of the study, Yamari, of your study, okay? It's from all sections, not from methods, but what I have here is methods. So we'll, we'll say yes, it's true. Based on this, you, you chose uh, a false Yamari. Okay, I can understand. Okay, you only need to focus on the less important findings. Is it true or false? It's of course, it's false, okay? It's acceptable to add few information and undefined abbreviation in the abstract. Is it true or false? Of course, it is false. Let's discuss each one separately. Uh, you can write abstract, of course, it's false. So let's see the answers actually. The first one is false, the second one is true, the third is false, as you mentioned. Thank you for your sharing and for being so, mashallah, active and for your feedback, okay? The third is false, the fourth is false. False. Okay, let's move to the last step here, getting the title of your research paper. Why do you think this is important? It's, it's important, the title is important, the abstract and the title are the last two steps, if you have noticed. Because as I told you before, after conducting your research, finding the results, choosing the data collection methods, you are going to write the abstract and the title of the research paper. Uh, okay, the primary function of the title is to provide what? A precise summary of the paper's content. So it's very important to get the title of your paper just right. But why? Why do you think this is important? We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll wait for your answer now, okay? Uh, catch attention, very good. Yes, Arun. Yes, it's the first thing you read, exactly, of it all. yes. And it condenses condenses the paper's content in a few words, captures the reader's attention, as Fatoun said. It grabs the attention, exactly, yes, thank you. Differentiate the paper from other paper of the same subject area. Yes, exactly. Let's practice this. Before practice this, let's read here, okay? Basic tips for writing your title. Here are four basic tips to keep in mind while writing a title. Number one, keep it simple and clear. Avoid complex phrases, phrases and unnecessary details. Keep it brief. Titles should not be too long, average 12 to 15 words. Remember if you write I told you about the title of your study. Number three, Keep it attractive. Use appropriate and interesting descriptive words and use key words. These are words that define the nature of the study and people would use them to search for your study. I hope the, the basic tips are clear. I'll give you one minute to look at them again.
Okay. Let's now look at these two titles, ladies and gentlemen. And I want you please to tell us which one you think is better. Is it one or two? And please type your answer in the chat box. Title one and title two. Title one and title two. I'm waiting for your answers. If it's one, you please write one. If it's two, you write two. One, two is good. Two, 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 two. Okay, two is more detailed. Two. Okay, Hamda, Khadija, two. Abdul Aziz, two. I can see that, I mean, most of you, they have chosen two. Okay, let's see. And this is put together. And you are right, thank you. Okay, what do you think? that number one is not a, a good title why uh two is more scientific it's more specific okay one is too general thank you so much yes you samia it is okay one is too general it's not clear okay Okay, title two is better title. Why? Because so many reasons. Can you think uh, with me of the reasons? You have mentioned some of them actually, thank you. You said one is general, one is not specific. Okay, specific to um, clarity you mean or um, okay, a clear idea of the study shows you the type of effects very good Yanur. thank you yes yes it's psychological effect let's read them together ladies title one effects of drug a on insomnia a patient study of a multi-central mixed group title two psychological effects of drug a on insomnia patients a multi-central Randomized controlled trial. Listen with me, ladies, please. Why title two is better? Number one, it's more specific, as you mentioned, focusing on a type of effects, psychological effects. Number two, it highlights the method and sampling. It's randomized sample and it's controlled. Number three. It specifies the type of study. It's a trial. Exactly, Sara, studying method. It's a trial type of study. It's a trial experiment. Okay. These are all keywords used in the study, and they also help the reader during their search process. The title, write the abstract, usually helps the, the reader decide whether they would like to continue and read your paper or not. This is why they are very, very important parts of a paper. Okay. At this stage, we end up our discussion of the six steps of writing a good research paper, but we don't end up the, <laughs> the presentation. Okay. Okay. We will move now to this slide, which discusses the um, the academic writing which is which is of course different from descriptive writing can anybody define for me what's the meaning of academic writing what's the difference between academic writing and descriptive writing yes Advanced word, okay. 
the vocab scientific. Okay. Reference. Thank you, Amari. Yes. Reference. Exactly. You need to acknowledge who wrote what. More formal and objective. Yes. Concise. Okay. Focus. Structure. Yes. Vadir, thank you. And packed up by evidence. Yes. Academic writing is specific academic format that varies depending on the subject. Citation, thank you, yes. Okay, so these are some of the fundamental characteristics of academic writing. As you have just mentioned, thank you for your very brilliant answers. Thank you. Number one, it's planned and focused. Answers the question and demonstrate an understanding of the subject. Number two, it's structured, coherent, written in a logical order and brings together related points and material. Evidence, demonstrates knowledge of the subject area, supports opinion and arguments with evidence and is referenced accurately as you have just mentioned. You need to acknowledge who wrote what to have to be um, to have academic writing. Formal in tone and style uses appropriate language and tenses and is clear, concise, and balanced. Okay. For each subject discipline, okay, we need to have such writing conventions, ladies. They differ from one subject to another, vocabulary and types of discourse that you will become familiar with over the course of your degree. However, there are some general characteristics of academic writing that are relevant across all disciplines. Okay, and here, these are the fundamentals we have just discussed together. I hope they are clear. Any question or move to something else? Okay. Okay, so I'll keep questions to, to the end of the presentation. And I'll go on. Um, yes, inshallah. Okay. Okay, Marib, thank you, dear. Okay. Methods to incorporate other people's work. There are several methods included, of course. Uh, you, your research is based on previous studies. Okay. So, to include other people's work, there are several methods, including, including. Actually, I'm not going to elaborate on this because due to time restrictions, I mean, th this needs as a separate uh, workshop. But I'll give you bullet points of the, uh, of the most important methods of incorporating other people's work. Number one, paraphrasing summarizing, quoting, and synthesizing, okay? Use a combination of these through, throughout your writing. Depending on the purpose that you are trying to achieve. Remember when I said at the beginning, you need to, uh, in the introduction, it's ladies, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's interrelated. Writing a research paper is an interrelated process of writing. Each step depends on and of the previous one. And the, the, the one which comes after it, command, it depends on the one before it. I mean, it's a circle. It's not a separate process. It's an interrelated process. Okay. Something else very, very important, your academic voice. What, what's, what's meant by academic voice? Your writing should not, always remember that your writing should not just be a patchwork of other people's ideas, made up of quotes, paraphrases, and summaries of other people's work, okay? In fact, the information you find should help you to develop your own arguments, ideas and opinions your voice is there okay 
Another thing, so make sure your voice is there. It's clear, as we said. Another thing, originality helps show your voice. What, what is meant by originality here, ladies and gentlemen? What's the meaning of originality here? Anyone know? Yes, I'm waiting to hear from you. Okay, okay. Uh, originality, I'll, I'll give you some two points about originality. Originality generate new data. Apply new methods to existing data. No, it's not, it's not style of writing. Create new interpretations of existing data. Provide additional support for existing theories, models, or interpretations. Modify existing theories, models, or interpretation. Critique or disprove existing theories, models, or interpretation. You are, your voice is there. This is how to achieve originality. I hope it's clear. Criticality helps show, also helps show your voice. Uh, so your, your writing, of course, must have an element. You, you can see here the three uh, boxes, okay? Descriptive, critical, and analytical. This means that, of course, your, your writing uh, have an element of descriptive. However, if you want your voice to clearly shine, you need to be more critical and analytical in your writing. Okay. 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 Can you please another practice for your academic voice? Can you please fill in the gaps with suitable words? Number one. Say why you agree or disagree with others' work. Get number two, discuss the strengths and weaknesses in previous research. Thank you. Number three, highlight differences and um, about similarities. And number four, the limitations in previous research, but when you show the limitations, you need to to be fair, okay, and to avoid bias. It's very important. Show how your research helps to fill in. Again, this is very very important to fill in a gap in the literature. Here are the answers. Okay. Okay, ladies. By the end of this slide, I've come up to the end of my presentation. And as I told you before, these are some useful sources to help with academic writing. Some of them I really, oh, I'm talking and I forget to. Okay, some of them I re are really very, very useful. Um, I want to actually protect you, but khalas, mashallah, I think, <laughs> what, what do you think? Uh, what do you think, uh, Dr. Rawan? Um, I just wanted to the the Dr. Awad, do we still have more time? Dr. Bastin, yes. Dr. Awad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I just wanted to choose one of these useful links. Oh. 
and share it with my audience, please, if we still have time. Which is, oh my God. Which is uh, content upload sites to literature review PDF. I'm trying to copy and paste it. In the chat box. Ahmed will. I think it's not an actual link, so it's not it's not an actual link. It's a, a PDF. So I'm 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 copying it here, copying Is and it pasting part, it. Is it part of the previous one BYU corporate website? Or uh, something else. Yeah, this this is a website, yes. Uh, I mean okay. the yes. Yeah, I mean the BYU Carbara website. Is it is the, the one you are uh, highlighting right now? Is it related to the BYU Carbara website? It is, yes, exactly. Uh, okay, so but, but, you can copy. But what I want to share is this one. I've, I've uh, copied it in the chat box. Okay, can you uh, uh, copy from HTTP all the way to PDF? Dot, the whole link. HTTP backslash backslash corpus dot byu dot edu backslash uh, no 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 I'm not sharing this one no sorry for misunderstanding I'm sure I'm sharing a pdf mm -hmm. uh, okay so a bit uh, if you want to share as a pdf you can just uh, uh, I've, I've, post it here uh, in, the chat. This in the screen can can everybody see it Uh, sure yeah, we. I, yes, here I see it is. Here, uh, yeah, the one in the chat box. Yeah, advice writing the yes. term to yes. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm I'm just giving an example of literature review. A few tips on conducting a literature review. Okay, and here there are. Some questions. I hope they are very useful when you write a literature review. Can anybody have an access to this? I'm just giving an example. Actually, all these links are very useful for MA students and for novice researchers specifically. And by this, we come to the end of our presentation, our workshop today. And uh, thank you for, uh, for your time. And I hope you found this workshop useful. And I'm happy to take any questions you may have. Indeed, it is a very useful and wonderful and well-organized workshop. Thank you, Dr. Maha for uh, introduce, uh, for delivering this wonderful workshop. We really enjoyed it. We learned a lot from, uh, from you and from the workshop. Thank you all for the attendees for attending the workshop. I shared, I already shared with you three links. Please complete the evaluation form. And if you have any questions, we still have about uh, nine minutes. If you have any questions or comments, Please uh, post it here in the chat, or you can open your mic and uh, ask your uh, your question. Yes, by all means. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Batsim. Thank you, Dr. Rawad. Thank you, everyone, for attending and being patient. <laughs> uh, we have a question here in the chat. Uh, what is the state of the art in the introduction? Part of the art. Uh, the, the question is a bit vague. What, 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 what do you mean by state of the art? Is it for scientific research? Mr. What? 
Mr. Do you mean the order of a thesis? Actually, it's not clear, I'm sorry. The question is not clear. Do you wanna open the mic and speak up? I really don't understand. Yes, of course, all papers must be checked by authenticate program, of course, yes. State of the art, no. I'm sorry, I don't know what, what is it, no. The introduction, it includes section like, I'm talking about uh, qualitative thesis. Okay, that includes section uh, like background of the study, statement of the problem, topic for the study, aim and objectives of the study, the research questions, and in some fields, in some research area, positionality. But uh, no, I'm, I'm not familiar with state of the art, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I think uh, if I may uh, jump in here. Yes, of course. Uh, I think what he meant here is state of the art, meaning the literature review. If I have, because I think there is uh, this is an uh, another uh, definition or a synonym of the literature review, which is basically state of the art. There is type of a literature review called state of the art. I think uh, this is what he meant by state of the art. If, uh, correct. Yes, maybe. Yes, it could be. Thank you. Thank you for for this information, Dr. Basim. Because in uh, to be honest, no, I'm not familiar with state of the art. Yes, there is Majda, and it's uh, it's included in the useful links. There are so many so many apps that are very helpful, yeah, Majda. Okay, Dr. Batim, I think we don't have any more questions. I need to thank you all. Uh, all right, all right. Thank you, Dr. Maha, for the wonderful workshop. Thank you all for attending the workshop. And inshallah, uh, we'll see you next week. We have uh, more workshops coming, inshallah. So thank you again. Thank you all. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Yeah, thank you everyone and have uh, have a good night for me. <laughs> I'll go, I'll jump to sleep. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you for attendance. Thank you, Dr. Basim. Thank you, Dr. Rawan. Um, I hope you all the best for your writing, um, coming writing workshops, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.